Hello guys, welcome to TechBait. Today I'm going to show you how to use your dead picker in Swift. So let's open up Xcode and create new Xcode project. Select single app, give next, give a product name, maybe dead picker. Make sure you have selected Swift and give next, create. Now go to main the storyboard. From the library, drag a label into the view controller. Give some constraints left, right, top, and drag a text field into view controller. Give constraints for text field also left, right, top, and height. For constraints, give a background color if you want. There's no need. Okay, now using the assistant editor, let's map this. Uh, let's map this text field into view controller. Give a name like DOB text field, something else if you if that you want text field. Connect. Now go to view controller. Now we need to create a date picker for that. We need to instantiate. Give a date picker. So let picker is equal to UI date picker function. Now we will select the big mode that we are going to use. Date picker mode. There are four modes total date, date and time, time and count and timer. We want, we want to display simply the date for so that we will select only date. Now we want to display this date when the text, fi text field is clicked. So for that DOB text field we have an option called input view. We will change text field input view as our picker view. Now, in order to perform some action, that is, we need to uh, copy the text that we selected into our text field. For that, we will create a function for that. Picker dot add target. Target is our pickers self, and here we will check whether the value change that is in the picker picker value the date the date is selected or not. And if that is selected, we need to do something for that. We will create a function. Selector. And the function name will be picker selector. And it will contain a variable. I mean argument the sender now we will declare a pika selector function okay what does it will do actually we need to convert our date which is coming from our picker that is from here it will pass the value the date date picker and we need to format it to particular fo uh, form like date month year or month date year something like that for that we need formatter that formatter we will instantiate formatter formatter is equal to date formatter 
now formatter dot date format is equal to this one is going to be string let it be date month sorry year note that the date should be small letter and uh, month should be in capital and year can either can year can be either uh, capital or small letter no problem now we are going to display this date in our text field so that dob text field dot text is equal to format dot string we have a option called string from date provided by formatter we have date here as sender dot date and one more thing is we need to expose this code to object you see for the simply click fix now we will run the project Yeah. Hey, it's working here. See, May 6, 2019, June 6, It's working, but now see, it's not closing. For that, we will use just a we will use just a uh, in order to close uh, the date picker in order to hide the date picker menu when we clicked on our view for that let just uh, is equal to if I tap just uh, recognize so target is going to go self it's going to be self and selector we're going to create a function let's hash selector function let be view tab it will take an argument sender now we are going to create just a function function like view tab UI tab is recognition gesture. What we're going to do is when the view is tab, we're going to close editing for that. View dot and editing is true. And now we need to expose this code to object you see, fix it and we are going to add this gesture into our view view dot add gesture recognizer going to be gesture okay now we will run the project Our data is popping up. Continue. 
now we will close uh, that picker is closing so guys thank you for watching please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thank you